Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video in the set of videos where I'm teaching you how to set up a CAD drawing for a high quality cartographic map, or what I call a wall map, GIS based map, all of those, all of those three things. And so in the, in the first video in this set, we uh, set our drawing coordinate system and we got our Bing background imagery loaded. And then we did a little bit of layer cleanup. So in this video, we want to go ahead and set up our sheet. And if you remember at the end of the last video, I kind of told you our the area we want to cover here in Stockton is actually longer uh, east-west than it is north-south. So we're going to want a landscape sheet, not a profile sheet. So we've got two layout tabs in here. We're going to try and do this with just one. So we're going to go ahead and delete this second layout tab. And then we're going to rename this layout tab here. We're just going to call it wall map one. Okay, and the, and the first thing we want to do here is we want to set up, set up our sheet size first. So we're going to go up, uh, right click on that tab and hit our page setup manager. And we're going to modify this page setup. And uh, we're going to pick uh, Nitro PDF Creator as our print driver. And I usually pick a PDF print driver when I'm doing this. Okay, then we want to come down here and pick our paper size. And we probably need to add a custom size, which can be a little bit tricky with a... Um, with a PDF viewer. They actually have what I want, which is an Archie 36 by 48. I think we're going to get what we need to fit on that size sheet, so we won't have to do a custom paper size this time. And then um, we don't want portrait, we want landscape because of the way our site is. So we'll hit OK. You can see our sheet just got a lot bigger, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and delete this built-in uh, viewport. <laughs> then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to set my uh, paper edge layer current. And I'm going to run the rectangle command. And I'm going to draw a rectangle from 0, 0. And we want to put in the width and the height. And you want to remember width comes first in AutoCAD, which is backwards for surveyors. So we're going to say 48, 36. Oh, except that's feet. Uh, that's feet. That's not what I want. <laughs> Let me try that again. Uh, my units are in feet, not inches. I'm embarrassed. All right, 0, 0. Nope. 0 comma 0 okay so what we want is 4 feet for our width and 3 feet for our height alright that still doesn't look right let's see what I did here let's check our distance yeah this is set up in inches so that first one should have worked alright I don't know what's going on let's try it again 0 comma 0 and we want to say, maybe we want to say at 4836. That's what it is. You got to use that at symbol. Okay. So that's our edge of our sheet. And you can see that kind of lines up with the, the black space and paper space there. Pretty close. It's off a little bit, but we'll, we'll fix that in a minute. Okay. Then I want to create a one inch margin. So we're just going to do a one, an offset of one. So there's the margin. We'll put that on the margin layer. Okay, and then we need one more layer I should have made. So let's go home, open up our layer properties. We're going to create a new layer, and this one is going to say uh, lines viewport. Okay, and this one I want not plottable. And we'll make it a different color. Now, I don't want to use my whole sheet for the viewport because I'm going to have some uh, some notes and a north arrow and a legend and a title block and some of those other things. So I'm going to give myself a 4-inch buffer on the bottom and uh, the bottom and right-hand side. So I'm going to do that offset, delete these, then extend this over. And so that's going to give me, whoop, that's going to give me my viewport. Okay, and I'm just going to draw a little line here that provides a snap because that's really all I need. Okay, then we're going to run the mView command to draw our viewport. 
and we'll click from here to here. Actually, I need to be off. Uh, I want to be off a tenth there. Yeah, let me let me undo this. So really, what I want is. Uh, Ah. What I want to do, guys, is I want to set up. I want a little one tenth of an inch gap. Uh, my viewport there. There needs to be a. I keep doing that backwards. There needs to be a gap between my viewport and the grid lines that we're using for layout. So I don't want to snap my viewport exactly to these four lines. I actually want to snap it to. Uh, uh, one tenth offset of that. So let's just draw a rectangle over that. We'll run the offset command, do a one tenth offset. Okay, so this is actually what I want my where I want my viewport. So let's select that and type M view. Uh, Alright, so now I've got a viewport. And we're gonna put that on the viewport layer. And we'll send it to the back. And then we'll get rid of that line on top. All right, so now we've got that nice one tenth of an inch gap between our viewport and the layout lines. Okay, so here we go. Now it automatically zooms extents, but that's not what we want. We obviously uh, took took more tile than we needed. So let's go ahead and make this viewport active. And then what I want to do is I want to get it roughly around where I want it. So somewhere in here is going to be close. You can see I might have to get some more tile. So then we want to find a, a scale that's roughly close to what we've got on the screen there. So you can see right here it's got a custom scale. But you can choose your scale here. So it looks like 1 to 200 is going to be pretty close to what we want. Uh, yeah. That might not quite be. That's probably going to cover most of downtown there at 1 to 200. I'm not going to get this little bit of the waterfront though. And I just don't know if it's worth jumping to 1 to 300. So let's go ahead and add 1 to 300. We'll see how it looks. I'm afraid it's going to be too big, but we'll try it. And I got one. We could do one to two fifty. I don't love one to two fifty as a scale. Let's add one to three hundred. I feel bad because I taught Elena how to do the command line version of this, and and you can just do it by selecting your viewport. So let's go ahead. We'll try one to three hundred. So we're going to grab our viewport. Oop. And then we'll come over here to standard scale. Oh, it's not showing me my new scale. Well, let's try 250. All right, so whoop. so 250 looks pretty close. It give me all the waterfront and downtown. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I might do? Let's try this. This is just some of the trial and error you go through. Uh, let's delete this and let's offset this a tenth. And I'm just going to pull this viewport over to say, hey, if I got rid of those notes on the right side, I bet you I could get this thing to fit at 1 to 200. So we'll, we'll try that. So uh, let's go ahead and select that viewport, and we'll set this back to 1 to 200. And, uh, boy, that's about what I need there. I'd rather have this a little, uh, a little bigger than, uh, than too big. 
I'm not going to get all the waterfront over here on this edge, but I think I'm okay with that. Not sure why it's not letting me pick uh, 1 to 300 out of the drop down there. I might have to just do it the old-fashioned way. There it is, 1 to 300. So obviously at 1 to 300 I'm getting everything. Yeah, it's almost like we need two sheets. We need one for downtown and one for uh, the waterfront. Let's do that. So let's call this uh, waterfront app, and then uh, we'll set this back down. So sometimes you just don't know until you get in here and you know try some different sheet layouts. So let's try this at one to two hundred. And uh, I like this a lot better. And then uh, what we're going to do, let's save this real quick. So uh, you notice we got that little bit of an offset on our sheet. So there's a there's some gray shown here. And then the black comes out over here. What we want is we want this black to line up with the red. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go back into our page setup. And uh, we're going to modify it. And uh, instead of saying layout, we're going to say window. And then we're going to grab our uh, corners of our red, the edge of our paper there, the corners in red. And we're going to say center the plot. Or say OK. And that should center the page in the, uh, in the plottable space. Let's run the preview and see how that looks. All right, so it didn't work. You can see that red line is not where it's supposed to be. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Go back into page setup. Okay, we've got the plot centered. Sometimes it's your scale. Yeah, so it's saying, uh, it's, it's got this 102. So if I just make that one, let's try that window again. Sometimes it's I don't get it snapped right. Let's see what that looks like in the preview. All right, that looks nice. So we can't see that red line, and this margin is even all the way around. So... That gives you a rough idea what that base map is going to look like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Then what I'll do is I'm going to I'm going to pause. I'm going to end this video because I'm over 10 minutes, and uh, we'll add another video. We're going to add another sheet here for downtown. We're going to plug some of this gap that we have in our image tiles. Um, and then, and then we'll have something that uh, that we can start with. We'll we'll know at least know our scale and our footprint and our orientation of our viewports for our base map.